So today I'm talking about a P2196 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a P2196 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor signal bias stuck rich bank one sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, they're sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And the computer can use this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And when you get a P2196 code, for some reason, the sensor one oxygen sensor on bank one is reporting to the computer that the air fuel ratio mixture is off and that the engine's running rich, which basically means more gas than air is going into the cylinders than should be. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And the opposite of that would be bank two. So if you find the number one cylinder on your engine, and that's the side of the engine that the computer's seeing a problem with. If you have a four cylinder engine, it wouldn't matter. You'd only have one bank. It can be a good idea to get a diagram where all the sensors are located on your particular vehicles since it can just make things easier. For example, here's a 2012 Honda Odyssey. And as you can see, bank one sensor one is going to be right down in here up against the firewall. And that bank one sensor one oxygen sensor is going to be the sensor to go and locate since it's the one reporting the problem to the computer. And so what could be some possible causes of a P2196 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that bank one sensor one oxygen sensor just failed and it's just reporting bad information back to the computer. So the computer thinks there's a rich condition when there isn't. So the first thing to do would be to go and test that bank one sensor one oxygen sensor and be sure that's good. Also be sure to check out the wiring or basically keep in mind anything wrong with the wiring going to the sensor, open, short, there's some kind of bad connection, something like this is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So be sure to keep that in mind. If you test that sensor and it tests good and there's no problems in the wiring or anything like this, then very likely the engine does have a rich running condition. And when an engine's running rich or lean, this can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot since it can be caused by so many different things. And so first of all, if you're getting other codes, if you're getting other engine codes, like a MAF sensor code or a fuel injector code or something along these lines, be sure to pay attention to that because that can help point you to what the problem is. And things that would cause an engine to run rich would be something like a stuck open purge valve. This is more common in some vehicles than other vehicles. For example, many Ford engines are notorious for that purge valve to get stuck open and it causes the engine to run rich, which those O2 sensors will report back to the computer. So it could be a bad purge valve. I made a video on how you could test these. I'll put a link down in the description below if you need to check that out. Other things that could cause this is that too much fuel is going into those cylinders for some reason. And this would be something like a bad injector or a bad fuel pressure sensor or something along these lines. Another thing that can cause an engine to run rich is if the airflow is blocked going into the engine. And so this would be something like a clogged up air filter or a bad mass airflow sensor or something along these lines. There are several different ways you go about trying to find the problem. One method is that you remove the spark plugs on bank one and you check to see how they're burning and then you match them up to a spark plug burn chart and you check to see if one or more of those cylinders is running rich and basically if the spark plug is really white then that means it's running lean but if it's really dark then it means it's running rich and so this can tell you if one or more of those cylinders is running rich so say you find one cylinder that is running rich then you could go and check it out you could check out the fuel injector and be sure that it's good possibly even swap it with a good one and see if the problem follows or things along these lines of course if you do have a bad fuel injector usually you'll get another code so like I said before, if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2196 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.